It's November 18th, 2016. <clears throat> Last week of bow season in Western North Carolina. <clears throat> I'm just getting to my spot here. It's a place over on DuPont State Forest we call The Ditch. I won't tell you no more about it than that. Anyway, it's a place where the deer cross the road. I'm only 100 yards from the road, 150. A lot of deer crossing. So, um, we're going to sit here and see if one crosses this morning. We're looking for a doe. I only got one buck tag left. And I got a week-long hunting trip next week. And I really need a bag full of estrus urine and uh, and a couple tarsal glands off of a doe. So, we're going to get some meat in the freezer. And we're going to collect some... Uh, estrus urine for our hunt next week which is going to be a bucks only rifle hunt a week long trip thanksgiving I ain't been sitting here five minutes. Five minutes. She got schwacked. <laughs> I shot a young doe with that schwacker last week and uh, shot her at the base of the neck. Which is a great shot for me. It's always been a good high qual uh, high uh, high uh, percentage shot for me. Base of the neck, top of the shoulder. Uh, you got the you know the big arteries in there. You, you got a chance of hitting the spine, but you got to have a broad head that's gonna punch through there no matter what. And the schwacker, the two inch schwacker, is not it. It's a well behind the shoulder you know, through the back of the rib cage type broadhead. You can't hit nothing but ribs with it. But when you use it right and you hit the deer right with it, it is a devastating broadhead as you've seen. I mean, that deer didn't run out of sight. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, that right there is a schwacker. take this little band off of it which is probably a mistake in the woods it opens up to a full two inch wide mechanical and I mean it cuts a nasty hole in a deer anyway I came in here prepared for the long haul and it's 10 after 7. I've literally been sitting here about 10 minutes. Maybe. <laughs> Big old 100 pound doe dead as a stone down there. Awesome. On the ground, baby. Briar goat killer. Y'all stay with me. We'll go take a look at her. can I say about those they're awesome
bushwhacker. Hundred pound dough. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the freezer club. Well, here she is, guys. <clears throat> My secret spot by the road. It's just a real popular place for deer to cross the road. And uh, if you go out there and look on the other side of that road, you'll just see, you know, in in a four or five hundred foot stretch of road, there's ten deer trails crossing the road right there. If you can ride the roads on public land and find places like that, you know, that's doing your homework just as hard as it is walking three miles back in the woods somewhere. And this is the proof's in the pudding right here. Here's a beautiful doe for the freezer. Kill with my bow, public land. This is DuPont State Forest. I mean, it just don't get no better than that. The best thing about it is I ain't got to drag this deer 200 yards, and it's all downhill. So... Sweet. Get her home, get her hung up, get her skinned out. Well, you gotta love dragging a deer downhill. Uh, you got her hung up. My little homemade 550 cord deer hanger. <clears throat> that damn sun ain't even come up yet. <clears throat> but, uh, look at the hole. Look at the hole that Schwacker cuts. If you hold your pinky finger up and look at it, that's how wide that Schwacker is when it comes, when it goes through a deer. Look at that, right through the heart. I, I bet I sliced the deer's heart in half. Now, it ain't got the biggest entrance hole. But it's bigger. I mean, it's as wide as most standard broadheads. It's an inch wide. You know, most standard two blade broadheads. But boy, that exit. That's a monster. That's a monster hole. Anyway. Yeah. The Schwacker. It's a winner. As long as you hit them right. Y'all be good.